Hi everybody, welcome back to my next video and today I'm going to be presenting Wars 4 dot test. This test is being used to determine the presence of fusion, suppression, diplopia and monofixation syndrome. This method is also known as the Wars 4 light test. Before you start this test, the room lightening is important. You can keep it uh, whether on or off. So you keep it on to promote fusion. And in case if you want to define the depth of suppression, you keep the room lightening off. Place the red green glasses on the patient and start the examination. The examination can be performed for a distance about six meters and for the near one third uh, of a meter, about 33 centimeters, using handheld words for light. And with the right eye, patient should see two red lights, and with the left eye, patient should see three green lights. The examiner can also measure the boundary of suppression by testing the patient uh, at the end of the room and walking closer to the patient. The crucial part of the examination are the questions which the doctor should ask the patient. Those questions are how many lights are you seeing? What color are the figures you see? Describe the location of the figures. Are the figures in one line or are they shifted? And are the lights consistent or are they on and off? Possible replies and interpretation. Let's continue with question and answers. When you ask the patient, how many lights are you seeing? And the patient answers, I can see four lights. This means that the patient has a binocular single vision. In this case, we might also consider that the patient has whether a normal retinal correspondence or abnormal retinal correspondence. In order to define which exactly retinal correspondence the patient has, we have to perform a prism cover test. Under this test, we might define whether strabismus exists or not. In case if there is no strabismus, this means that the patient has a normal retinal correspondence. In case uh, if strabismus exists, this means that the patient has abnormal retinal correspondence harmonious type. When the patient sees two lights, then the next question you have to ask, what color are the figures you see? And in case if the patient sees they are red, we might consider a left eye suppression. This is interpretation for that answer. Suppressing the left eye means the patient is not seeing the light with the green glass. Therefore, they will report seeing two red lights. In case if the patient sees three lights and those are green lights, this means right eye suppression. And suppressing the right eye means the patient is not seeing the lights with the red glass. Therefore, they will report seeing three green lights. In case if the patient sees five lights, then the next question should be answered. Are the lights consistent or they are on and off? And if the patient says they are on and off, this means that alternative suppression occurs. Patients can rapidly alternate suppression, which can give a false diplopic response. And if a deviation is offset by a prism and the pa uh, patient still reports diplopia, this would indicate abnormal retinal uh, correspondence. In case when the patient sees five consistent lights, the next question should be asked, describe the location of the figures and are the figures in one line or are they shifted? And he, when he says they are in one line, this means the patient has horizontal diplopia. The next would, we have to define which exactly horizontal diplopia the patient has. If he sees the red lights on the right side and green lights on the left side, this means the patient has uncrossed diplopia. In case when red lights are on the left and green lights are on the right, this means the patient has crossed diplopia. In case when the patient sees five consistent lights and they are not in one line, and when the lights appear one above another, this means vertical diplopia exists. And the lower light belongs to the one which is hypertropic, and the lights of a responsible eye is hypotropic, which means in this case, for example, right hypotropia exists, and in this case, left hypotropia exists. There might be also a situation when the patient might have a binocular single vision for near 
and a suppression for a distance that might be left suppression or right suppression. And this is the classic response for monofixation syndrome, where the patient has a small scotoma less than 5 degree with a peripheral fusion, but this can also happen with patients who have a large deviation. That was everything about words for the test. Thank you for watching. Till the next video, stay positive, stay healthy. Bye.